Well, it's been a couple of days, and I think I finally got my thoughts straight on the new Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. This game, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, is probably the most fun 3DS game to just pick up and play that I've had since Kid Icarus Uprising. Even uh, with A Link Between Worlds, it took a dungeon or two for me to really give it as much praise as I had for it. Smash Bros. 4 is awesome. And I think people are only really just starting to realize how awesome it is. We finally have a Smash game that's portable. You can take it anywhere you want. And to me, making a game portable only makes sense if it's going to be something that I can get instant fun out of every time. And there's not a whole lot of console games that you can really transition into the portable scene after they've been established. I think Smash, well, to, to be really stupid and corny about this, it's a Smash hit. Uh... I really enjoy it, and I think there's a lot of people that are writing this version of Smash 4 off because it's the inferior version, whatever the hell that means, worse quality graphics, music, customization options, etc. A lot of folks are saying that since the control setup is a little awkward and the screen's too small, just wait for the Wii U version to hit later this year. But really, instead of looking at it as two identical games, which they kind of are, you really have to look at them serving two different purposes. I'm surprised it took Nintendo this long to make a portable Smash game. And if I'm gonna be honest, it does feel a little like Smash 64. A little bit awkward in the control scheme, god we remember Nintendo 64's weird ass controller. But even though I picked up my main from Brawl, Toon Link, it was still a little bit weird to me. The floatiness that I had in Brawl is gone, but it doesn't feel as fast in control as Melee did. The awkwardness takes about an hour and a half, I'd say, to really get used to, because only having the circle pad to maneuver your character probably results in some silly mistakes early on. Like, I was constantly, constantly, I was facing the wrong way with a lot of my attacks. But once you get there, it's amazing how much fun you'll have, because it's for the first time in four games it's taken them to make a, a portable version, which is just amazing to me. The online from the few matches that I've played is a huge step up from Brawl. Huge! Every now and then, lag is going to creep in matches in little sections, but it's nowhere near as constant as Brawl was. I'm also a big fan of giving people the option to choose for fun or for glory, because now, even with random opponents, you'll be playing with the rules that appeal to you, whether you like items or stage hazards or not. I haven't unlocked all of the characters yet, but I'm happy that they're making it easier to complete the roster than in games past. It used to be that you had to play like a thousand matches or have several hours played, which is really ridiculous to complete, especially to unlock some of the more anticipated characters like Sonic was in, in Brawl, but this time it's a pretty painless experience. As for favorite new characters, I haven't tried them all, uh, but I'm a huge fan of Greninja. I don't know if he'll knock Toon Link off the pedestal for me, but I really enjoy Greninja's mobility, and he has a decent amount of power in his smashes to back up his speed, too. I haven't tried Mega Man yet, uh, but I'll probably get around to that soon. He's one of the other characters that I was really excited to try. As far as Duck Hunt Dog goes, uh, kind of a WTF character, similar to Mr. Game & Watch, but I don't know. I I've played around with him a little bit in classic mode, and it was really weird. But, uh, as far as modes are concerned, I honestly don't miss having Subspace Emissary. There's definitely enough here that single players can enjoy, but you're really, really missing the boat if you aren't playing this game with other people. The online is nowhere near as bad as it was in Brawl, guys. And as far as Nintendo's crap online standards go, it's definitely good. So, that being said, I am having an absolute blast with this game. Uh, and... I'm going to leave my friend code below for those of you who don't already have it. And I'm thinking about probably doing some online matches for you guys. It's, I'm not going to do a let's play. There's nothing to let's play here. It's, it's, it's definitely a game catered to multiple players at once. And it, it's one of those things where it's going to be a different experience every single time. So I like games like that. I like... If I'm going to make a video, I, I want it to be new every single time for people. I don't want to have people be alienated by 
having to click on, on a, a part number 42 of, a, of an ongoing series and say, well, I haven't clicked on parts 28 through 41, so I'm going to go back and watch those first and then not watch it or anything like that. And it's just, there's no obligation. I can do a daily match every single day for the foreseeable future and probably not get bored with it because it's always going to be different. So if I'm going to have more fun with it and, you know, the, the incentive is there for people to watch, I may just come back. You remember that series of videos that I made last year? Oh, what was it, 58 straight or something like that? I think I could do that again. Hell, I think I could do better than that. So, that being said, leave your friend codes in the comment section below, and I will probably do some uh, matches with commentary for all of you guys to enjoy. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed just my little thoughts on the new Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. Uh, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. Uh, that's, uh, that's where they got their 4 from. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.